Hi guys, Tom Morrison here and I want to talk to you today about compensation. So the biggest thing about injuries and things like that is from joints not really functioning that well. So the number one compensation maybe for squat or deadlift is if you don't have, or just say the deadlift first of all, if you don't have enough range in your hips to be able to hinge, then you're going to have to compensate somewhere else and generally it's going to be the back that's going to take the front of it. Whereas if you can have a good range in the hips, then you're going to have a better data position. As well, for the likes of a squat, if you are missing range in your ankles or in the hips, then what could happen would be the knees are going to have to start coming in in order to make you squat. Now it's not going to necessarily look like that, it may just look like this, but that tightness in here, you may as well just be squatting like that. So the inside of the knees are going to hurt, and it's not going to happen like overnight. It could take a year before you're actually going to notice any sort of things happening there. With the elbows, it's the wrists and the shoulders. So if your shoulders are slightly rounded around the front, then your elbow is going to have to move more in order to attain certain positions like that. So if you have good healthy shoulders and good flexible wrists, the elbow will be happy. If you have good healthy hips and good healthy ankles, the knees will be happy. So Avoid compensation and just keep your joints healthy really and you'll avoid a lot of injuries that are easily avoidable and you'll hopefully get stronger for it. Okay guys?